So right now I'm gonna go through all my goals of um, 2019. I just wanna make this video because one of my friends just made this video recently and it kinda like just made me think like, oh, like what what should be my goals for 2019, what I wanna accomplish and stuff like that. Um, as you guys just saw, I just hit a 250 pause bench PR. I'll play it right now. Yeah! So you see 250 pound bench PR at 173 pounds. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna get straight to the goals. We have some we have some lifting goals, we have some life goals, some social media goals, and yeah, so I'll just get straight into it. Um I mean I really this channel is based mostly on lifting and stuff like that, so I'm really gonna focus on that. I'm not gonna really tell you like my personal personal goals I guess stuff like that but um yeah I lift the goals for 2019 um at the end of the year for 2019 I'll be probably doing another mock meet or or I'll just test my maxes that week or something like that so I want a 315 touch and go bench uh 305 pause bench 495 squat and a 545 deadlift um, so those are my goals. That's a uh, right. I'll tell you guys all the increases right now. It's a sixty pound increase on bench in one year, uh, pretty much touch and go. It's a fifty five pound increase pause bench. So from two fifty today to three three oh five, and from pretty much a four oh five squat to a four ninety five squat. Um, I'm gonna play the four twenty fail that I did. I'm gonna play the four twenty fail that just happened a few days ago, and I'll play the four fifteen after that. So. Here's the 420 fail. Increase pretty much on my squats, but technically I'm almost at 420, so it's like it would be more like a 70 pound increase, uh, 75 pound increase. So that's you know, it's gonna be a big grind, but um, I'm really determined to get this. This is probably gonna be my most consistent year training. Um, and you'll see, like, you'll see, I'm gonna put like an important thing on training after um, this, uh, and a 545 deadlift. Um, I'm gonna be switching to suit, oh, also, I'm gonna be switching to low, I'm gonna. Also, I'll be trying low bar um, very soon in my next training cycle, um, and I'm gonna be switching back to sumo. So, I'm gonna try to be, be become a god at low bar, become a god at sumo. So, hopefully, my lifts will increase by those two things because pretty much those two things like will for most lifters sumo reduce the range of motion, and if you have um, yeah reduce the range of motion so you can lift more low bar. It's lower on your back, so it's um, you don't have to go down as far. Um, so. Reduce the range of motion on that. So, if I become, if I master those two techniques, I could probably hit some big PRs soon. Um, and yeah, I'm actually still working on if I'm actually gonna get a coach soon because I'm really getting really serious about this. So, I'm still working on if I'm gonna get a coach or if I'm gonna do this myself, which is gonna be really hard. But um, yeah, I'm still I'm still playing around with things. I was thinking about I just bought the AI coach the one month coaching, but I actually might get my money back. Um, more on that later. All right, guys, so I kind of have to add this in right now. Um, going to switch up one goal because I just hit that 495 deadlift sumo, and my goal is 545 by the end of the year. So, um, which is, yeah, I did not really expect hitting that 495. 
So I'm gonna change my goal to 585 uh, sumo and conventional. I want to pull 545. That's my goal. I'm still gonna be pulling conventional as well because honestly, if you pull just sumo or just conventional, uh, you won't build up to your highest thing. Obviously, one is gonna be stronger for me. Sumo is obviously stronger and like easier for me, but um. <clears throat> Um, my um, conventional definitely complements my sumo, so that's why my sumo is very strong. So I'm gonna try to hit work up. I'm gonna try to hit a 545 conventional uh, by the end of the year and a 585 sumo. Um, also, I kind of want to hit 585 before I turn 17, which would be 585 at 16, which would be pretty wild. But um, yeah, that's my goal. And then obviously, if I hit 585 before I turn before I turn 17, then I'm probably gonna hit 600. Uh, by then, <clears throat> I'm probably gonna hit 600 by the end of the year. So, um, oh my God, voice crack. So, yeah, let's get back into the video. Um, yeah, so that would be uh, pretty much like a hundred, of uh, 90 pound increase on deadlift in one year. So pretty much with all of this, I want to, they're big goals, but all I, like, I want to make sure to be smart with training and realize when to push yourself even harder and when to hold back. Um, yeah, so that's that's what I'm just, yes. Yeah, yeah, so there's been times where I remember in the summer when I was pretty lean, when I was deadlifting, and I pretty much did the stupidest thing where she did deadlifting and squatting, like deadlifting one day, squat the next day, I think I did that. You always want to wait like a day in between, unless your, your recovery is fantastic, which mine wasn't at the time because I was still getting back into it. And if I did that right now, I think honestly I'd be fine, except for yesterday because I did um, some like um, some volume I wouldn't do. I hit like a, I tried to hit like a, a PR for a squat and then I did 315 for 10. You know, that's just, that just literally tired my legs out. So my legs are drained right now, but I'm going to take, you know, I'm going to make sure they recover for tomorrow because I think I might hit a Dell PR tomorrow. We will figure that out. But anyway, I just want to be smart when I'm training. I don't want to get injured because injur injuries will literally set me back even farther. Um, the good thing is I want to just keep eating how I'm eating because I don't want to bulk too hard to uh, like 183, blah, 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 like that. And um, then I have to cut weight and like I don't want to like risk an injury. So for high school nat for high school nationals, which is I'm competing on March 27th and I'm qualified, um, I'm going to pretty much eat how I am, slowly, slowly, slowly gain weight. And pretty much be like 183 on the dot um, when I get there. So that's the plan. Um, and yeah, just pretty much just, just just know when to push it and know when to stop because you just don't want to get injured. But it's so much easier with, you know, bulking because you can do these like small little like, like I don't know what to call them, like small little stupid things, I guess. Like, you know, when you're bulking and it won't really affect you. Let's say you do a small stupid thing when you're cutting and you don't have that many calories and you're not like recovering enough. You're just gonna get injured, which sucks. It'll set you back a month. So, and a month is a very big deal. Like, like life isn't forever. You really don't have that much time to like. If you wanna set records, set like stuff, and that's really what I wanna do. So, you really don't have that much time. So, one, two weeks, one month, two months set you will set you back so far. And that's what I realized from this past summer that like that set me back so far. Thank God it was going to soccer season, or thank God it was luckily going to soccer season. So I was gonna stop my squatting dev thing anyway. But um, yeah. <clears throat> it kind of affected a little bit of my soccer in the beginning of the season, which was not good. But, um, yeah, just know when to stop and just be smart about it. Um, all right, so these are my pretty much my three biggest goals. And Larry will take thinking of these goals Larry, every day of my every day of my life this year and wanting it, like, really bad this year. So pretty much um, I want to win high school raw nets as a teen, too, which is 16 to 17 category, um, 83 kilo. So... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I'll put up the total what somebody did last year. Um, uh, yeah, so I'll put up the total what somebody did last year at 83 kilo teen two. I think it was, I really, I can't guess. I think it was like 1240 or maybe 1300, hopefully not 1300, but um, yeah, pretty much <laughs> I'm at 1080 right now, or I, I total 1080 at meet, but I'm at 1105. So if I total 1,300, I would have to put on 200 pounds on my total. If that person competed again, let's say the person competed again, I put on 200 pounds on my total in like three months, which is like, you know, very hard. That's, that'd be very like, almost near impossible. But um, I, I think I'll be fine if I total anywhere from like 1,200 to like 1,220, like that's my goal. I wanna add like, I wanna add like a good like 110 pounds in this training block, cause I want this just, to be laser focused on I'm, I'm bulking as well, you know. So 
I'm gonna add it like a solid hundred pounds on my total in three months. And yeah, so I wanna win high school run as a T283 kilo. And yeah, that'll be that's a really cool um that'll just be a really cool experience, you know, just know you worked really hard for something, you know. Um and this is probably the biggest goal. I mean this is probably even this is probably the biggest goal I have in my year, even bigger than the one that's coming after this, which is like kinda confusing for you, but uh, for you guys, but I wanna win raw nationals. And this there's there's a little problem with this, but we'll get to the point. So I wanna win raw nationals, team two, eighty three kilo while still playing soccer and winning the section championship for my school. So pretty much Raw Nationals, <laughs> that seems fucking impossible. Um, Raw Nationals is um, October 16th to October 20th in Illinois this year. And I already qualified for it, which is good. I, I qual The qualification total for me was 1018, and I, and I, did, I got 1080 on my last meet. So um, I already qualified for it. So I'm gonna, when, like when we're like, probably like, um, 16 or something like weeks out right now we're 35 weeks out so you gotta know when you're like how many weeks out you're out um when i'm like 16 weeks out I'll book my flight and everything i'll book make sure i'm there i still have to buy my um stuff for high school run ass but anyway um it's 16 to 20th now i'm in soccer during the season i'm in soccer during this so um it's gonna be it's gonna be really tough to train while playing soccer but you know i'm still determined to do it um and yeah, so I'm gonna be training six times a week, playing five times a week, and it's gonna be fucking hard, and I know it, but um, yeah, that's really my big goal. And the one thing is, so last year we had our semifinal game, October 24th, and high school run, and then uh, Raw Nats was like the 16th to 20th, so it's like that weekend. So I have to make sure, like, it's either gonna be I play like my quarterfinal or whatever the game is, like the round of 16, before I go to, to Raw Nats, go to Raw Nats, come back and play the quarter and semis and stuff like that, so it's really going to be tough for me, but I'm like willing to take on the challenge, like I'm going to really have to do like as much as I can in my power to, to be able to do both, because I want to win the session championship for my school, which is like the, probably one of the biggest goals I have in my life right now, and then I also want to um, win high school and win Raw Nationals for my age, quarter, for my age category, and getting from the DMs I'm getting right now with like these like 16 year old prodigies lifters, I'm kind of getting a little bit scared, but I'm hoping to have like a 1300 total. Oh, I'm hoping to have a 1300 total by Raw Nationals, which is 200 pounds of my total in like 10 months, which is, it's, it's another big jump, but I'm hoping to do that. Um, and if I win high school, and if I win, if I, eh, if I win Raw Nationals team two, 83 I will place at IPF Worlds for 2020 Belarus and that's probably that's another that's that's probably easier well I mean you have, kind of have to do the first goal the first like goal like, with the soccer and everything to do this anyway with like you know raw nationals so all I want to do is be at IPF Worlds experience it and then you know hopefully place third second or first and yeah so that's gonna be 20 that's gonna be into 2020 but if I win raw nats I already know I qualify for that um and yeah, those are probably my biggest goals that I'm probably going to be looking forward to every single day uh, until that day of uh, my life. So yeah, those are some uh, pretty big lifting goals, if I had to say. But anyway, all right, so let's get into social media now. Um, right now, um, on Instagram, I have around 2.6 thousand followers. And by the end of the year, I want to try to get a following of 10,000 followers. And yeah. Um, and for YouTube, I have around 3,700, 3,800, and I want to get around 7,500 by the end of the year. Um, another, one, another one of my big goals is um, to have a Division three or Division two college uh, scholarship for soccer. So, um, yeah, I, I just went to a showcase uh, in like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. At Disney and actually and then like a two weeks ago I had my first uh, college um, college soccer team email me saying they want to talk to me which is very um, which makes me really motivated and makes me even want to work harder that like people are um, are seeing how like I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a pretty good player for um, soccer that I can make a difference for a team but you know I'm fucking jacked as well <laughs> but um yeah so. 
Um, yeah, all right. So that's pretty much my goals. Um, a lot of lifting goals, but I have a lot of more personal goals, I guess, you know, for myself. And yeah, oh, also I want to answer this question for people who kind of ask me sometimes, does lifting affect soccer? And to the answer, and like the blatant answer is yeah, it, it, it does. Um, there's pros and cons. And I would say, like for me, I would say there's only, there's more pros than cons. I think for me, there's only one con, which is, um, I think agility and like kind of reaction time, not maybe not reaction time, but like agility and how fast you can, um, you can get your feet to the floor. I don't know how to explain it, but when you're running, but the thing is I run faster now, which is kind of weird, but, um, it's more about like shifting your hips. I feel like I was, I was always a player in soccer that like, um, I would just be really fast and just like outpace everybody. And I would never be like a, like a messy where I would like dribble, cut in the ball and stuff like that. And I'm still like that player. I kind of just kind of full steam, like blow. That's why, that's what I kind of still want to do. Like I, I just obviously want to get better with my technique, like, you know, doing cuts and stuff and like weaving around players and stuff like that. But like, I've always just been like a, like a fast kid and like I was skinny before. Now I'm just like, now I'm bigger. But like now since my legs have like increased so much in size, so much in power, they're stronger now. And I could just like, I could, I run even faster. I blow past players. One thing is stopping and like cutting and stuff like that. Like that's the one thing I have to work on. So this summer I'm probably going to work on that a lot. Um, and yeah, so it does affect um, sports. And I mean, it could affect sports a more greatly. Like, like lifting would obviously affect football the greatest. You know, that's why I'm the only soccer player in my weight room. Uh, everybody else is a football player and that's everybody else is a football player and the people who else just want to lift with me you know they just do lifting as a hobby or you know take it somewhat serious you know I just um I'm like the only soccer player in my um weight room so yeah um <clears throat> um yeah I think that's pretty much it for my goals um it's just time to grind now get that get that get those numbers you know eat big stay big and yeah so, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time.